guys, it's Jenny and this is Sincerely from Scratch. Today I'm going to share my three favorite recipes for spaghetti squash. First, I'll show you how I roast basic spaghetti squash in the oven. Next, I'll show you how I make my spaghetti squash and meatballs in the slow cooker. And finally, I'll show you how I make my chicken parmesan and spaghetti squash all on one sheet pan. Let's make some spaghetti squash. This is just a medium sized spaghetti squash that I purchased at my local supermarket. First, let's cut it into three sections short ways. I like cutting it short ways because I think it makes longer strands of squash. I'm not going to lie, cutting into it is challenging. The best advice I can give is to use a sharp pointy tip knife as a wedge. Then I'm just scooping out the seeds and innards. Next, drizzle your pan with some cooking oil and coat your squash. Finally, liberally salt all the sides of your squash. Then I roasted them at 350 degrees for one hour. After the squash has been cooked, use two forks to gently separate and remove the squash from its skin. And there you have it, beautifully roasted spaghetti squash in the oven. Next, let's make my spaghetti squash and meatballs. This is not my preferred way of making spaghetti squash, or meatballs for that matter, but sometimes you just need a slow cooker recipe on standby for those busy days. And this is perfect for that. Here's what you'll need. One pound of ground turkey. You could use beef if you'd like. A quarter cup of breadcrumbs. One large egg. Two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. A half a teaspoon of kosher salt. One small yellow onion. A quarter of a bell pepper. And two garlic cloves. You're also going to need one jar of pasta sauce and one medium spaghetti squash. First, let's prepare the vegetables. In a food processor, finely mince the bell pepper, onion, and garlic. Then, let's assemble the meatballs. Add the ground turkey, minced vegetables, egg, breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, and salt to a large mixing bowl. Mix with your hands until everything is combined. Then form the mixture into meatballs. Then cut the spaghetti squash in half short ways and clean it out. Next place the two halves cut side down in the crock pot. Gently stack the meatballs around the squash where you can and pour a jar of pasta sauce on top. Cover and cook on low for eight hours. After two hours, remove the squash from the pot and use two forks to separate the squash strands. Serve with a bit of Parmesan cheese and enjoy. Finally, let's make the sheet pan chicken parmesan with spaghetti squash. Here's what you need. One pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's about three. A half a cup of breadcrumbs. A third a cup of all-purpose flour. One egg. A quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. A half a teaspoon of onion powder. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Cooking oil and salt and pepper. You're also going to need 
one spaghetti squash cut short ways into rounds, one jar of pasta sauce, and shredded mozzarella. First, let's prepare the breadcrumb mixture. In a large mixing bowl, combine the breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, spices, salt, and pepper. In a separate bowl, eat the egg. Then, pat your chicken dry with paper towels. Dip the chicken one thigh at a time, first into the flour, then the egg, and the breadcrumb mixture last. Arrange on a well-oiled sheet pan with spaghetti squash rounds. Bake for 45 to 50 minutes at 375 degrees. When everything is cooked, use a fork to separate the squash strands. Serve with heated pasta sauce and garnish with mozzarella cheese. I hope the next time you're at the grocery store, you give this guy a try. And don't forget to subscribe because there are more delicious recipes where that came from. And until next time, bon appetit.